But yeah, I think just having that responsibility of I potentially will shape this human mm -hmm. and their life right. and their decisions. I know. That's a lot of pressure. <laughs> so you're having a baby boy. I mean, did yes. you have a feeling? Or <sighs> when we when we were found out we were pregnant, we were just so excited. We did not care what we were going to have. I was happy with either one, but I could just sense a boy. Uh -huh. And I'm not sure if it's because we have these like little boy pictures of Val all around our house. When we moved, we found them and I just could visualize it so clearly. Mm -hmm. So yeah, when we found out it was a boy, I was like, I knew it, but I didn't know. Cause mm -hmm. I was really sick in the whole like wives tale yep. of, if you're sick, you're having a girl. Mm -hmm. She's taking all your beauty. <laughs> so I was like, oh yeah, there might be a girl. There might be a girl, she make me sick. I know, <laughs> but I'm so excited for a little boy mm -hmm. to be a mama's, to have a little a boy that's gonna love his mama. Like I can't wait. It's, it's amazing, it really is. It's so much fun. Um, Having those little boy snuggles are it's just the best. I, I mean can't what wait. was Val's reaction when he found out that he was having He a boy? was so excited. Mm -hmm. I you know, I think it became very real once we found out what we were having. Sure. Mm -hmm. Um but I cannot wait to see him be a dad and to have a son. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so excited. What kind of dad do you think he's going to be? The best. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I already know that it's going to be good cop, bad cop, and I'm going to be the bad cop. Yes. Like, I know he's going to give in to everything mm -hmm. and be such a little sucker, so... <laughs> I, I know it's going to be that. Gonna <laughs> he's going to be... No, he's going to be very involved. Mm -hmm. Very, very. He's he wants to style him. They're gonna have the matching outfits. Yeah, we've already gone there. So I love it. Is there anything that scares you about being a mom? Um, just knowing how to raise them in this world. You know, mm -hmm. it's it's a crazy time. I even have a hard time navigating it myself. So just being the best mother and nurturer and guider that I can mm -hmm. be. You know, like, do I have all the tools? Do I know what to tell them in certain situations? So, I guess that. Yeah. But the whole, like, labor thing doesn't really freak me out. I'm, like, ready for, ready it, for it, for all, like, the gore and scariness. <laughs> like, bring it on, let's do it. But yeah, I think just having that responsibility of, I potentially will shape this human mm -hmm. and their life right. and their decisions. I know. That's a lot of pressure. <laughs> a lot of pressure. Now that you put it like that, I'm like, I hope I'm doing everything right. <laughs> like, how do you know? You don't. You have no you idea. You just figure it out you along the way. No, they just hand it to you. You're like, here you go. I'm I know. Like, Thankfully, I have a really smart, patient partner yes. that I think that will be a good team. I mean, are you hoping to shape him into a little dancer or are you? We'll see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, I think everyone expects us to put him into dance. I want him to just be athletic and try all of the sports mm -hmm. anything he wants to do i'll support him but it's kind of inevitable like how could we not use our resources right and put him into dance <laughs> right. and to like have our friends train it and like <laughs> yeah it's meant to be tell me all about this collaboration that you have with jackson Jones. yes so this is my second line with Joe and Jax, mm -hmm. and um, we wanted to do a line specifically that was going to be accessible to everyone and anyone. Mm -hmm. So our sizes run from a youth small all the way to double XL, um, and we wanted to design something that you could wear to dance class mm -hmm. or to a fitness class, Soul Cycle, anything. Um, and I'm really proud of this collection. It's so funny because this was all done and designed a year ago, but the color scheme and <laughs> kind of turned out to look like a gender reveal. I love that. <laughs> so when it came out, everyone was like, is this a gender reveal? Which no, but it kind of just fit. Yeah. So I'm, I'm so, so in love and proud of these pieces. Mm -hmm. um, and even like while I've been pregnant, I've been sporting them. We have a really cute uh, unitard, it's called our uni, um, that I just love. So. Yeah, definitely. And is that your favorite uh, piece in the collection? I do have to say that the uni is my favorite uh -huh. piece. Um, I do think that our crop is really great because it's long enough where if you don't feel so comfortable showing your belly, you have a high-waisted legging that goes right with it. Mm -hmm. So perfect for anybody. Definitely. How do you feel showing off your belly now? I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm that person. I'm like, the more skin, the better. You no, know, I just think that I've always been 
I don't want to say really revealing with my body, but being a dancer, especially on Dancing with the Stars, I'm always wearing costumes. So I've always felt super comfortable. And now that I have this like growing accessory, I, I just love it. And I, I know that it's not going to last. So I want to take advantage of it. Definitely.